In this video I'll be showing you how to record music along with a metronome slash click track. Now if you're familiar with what a metronome does, of course you'll know the importance of it and why I would use it when it comes to recording. For those who might not, you might be wondering, well, why is it important and why should I use one? And the answer to that is that you want to make sure that the music you play is in time, especially if you'll be layering different melodies or instruments on top of one another. You want to make sure all these parts are in sync. Now, if you imagine an orchestra, you would have a conductor at the front making sure everyone is in time with one another. If you're in a band, the drummer is, in a way, the band's click. Obviously, they do a lot more than that, but a key part of a drummer's job is to keep time, and the rest of the band will play in sync with the drummer, and in turn, other members of the band. Now, when you're recording music, you want to keep all instrumentation in sync with one another. And one way to achieve this is by playing along to a click. So that means you can separately record different parts, and as long as they all line up to the click, they should all line up with each other. Now you might have occasions where, for good reason, you won't use a click track. For example, if you were recording a singer-songwriter only, and they're recording vocals and guitar at the same time, you might just let the recording flow. And actually in situations like that, using a click track can have more of a negative impact on the overall vibe of the track. But let's just assume that you want to use a click. So if I just let this play now, there's obviously no click playing. But if I go up here, on your screen there might be another little button for it, like those other buttons, and turn the click on. When I press play, you can hear the click. Now if you want to change the speed of the click, you have to go up here. This is where you can change the BPM, so the beats per minute. Click here, and then you can input whatever BPM you want. Type it in and then just click enter. And that changes the speed. If you want to change the volume of the click, you go to record, metronome settings, and that will bring up this window here. So to change the volume, you go down to the slider towards the bottom, and you can change it there. You can also change the tonality of the click using the slider above it. There are other things that you can do in this window, but now I'm just going to show you the basic stuff that you need. I might go into detail on it on a separate video. One last thing I'll show you is how to make the click only make a sound whilst you're recording and not during the playback of the recording itself. So if I record something now with the click, and then play it back. See that annoying click sound is still there. Now that hasn't ruined the recording or anything, you can just turn the click off. But if it makes things easier, you can change the settings so that the click will only play during recording and not during any playback. So to do that, you open up the metronome window again. Then you have to untick simple mode and also untick click while playing. So that way you can hear the click when you record, but when you play it back, it won't be there. So that's how to record to a click in Logic Pro. You can go ahead and layer different things on top of this, more melodies, instrumentation, or a drum machine, and they should all line up and be in sync with one another. Assuming, of course, that you've played the music in time. One final thing to remember when using the click is if you're recording anything using a microphone, remember that that microphone will pick up ambient sound in a space. So if you're recording a musician and you've got a click blaring over a pair of speakers, chances are the sound of the click will bleed into the recording. Um, it will probably ruin the recording, and it's something you can't really fix in the edit either. So to stop that happening, make sure that whoever needs to hear the click, whether it's you or someone else, has it playing in a pair of headphones. So that way you can play along to the click, but it probably won't bleed into the recording. If you're recording anything direct, like an electric guitar or bass through a DI box, or inputting MIDI, you don't need to worry about any bleed. Um, but just be aware of it when recording using a microphone. 